The present work glories in one of Miro's most evocative titles. Snake with poppies, moving on a violet field, peopled with lizards in mourning. It was executed in late 1947 and into the following year, 1948. It follows on from Miro's first visit to America when he came to attend an exhibition at Pierre Matisse's gallery here in New York. Now the title gives some clue to the element of poetry in the painting. Speaking in 1948, Miro described his creative processes as first gaining some inspiration from the material itself. In this case, oil paint, gouache, the support, unusually large. And the next stage in his development of a painting was organization of forms. Here we can see the serpent making its slightly ambiguous way across the top of the canvas and the growth in the other figures, the lizards in mourning across the bottom. And then he talked about how he would enrich the composition. So in a way there was an element of the unconscious. He was drawn by the materials into making forms, but then he would mold these forms and create a mise-en-scene which would speak of his inner desires. The present work is replete in passages of intricate detail, of moments where he takes the oil pigments and the gouache and he works them in the most filigree way. There is a very definite sense of mystery to the present work, perhaps a sense of the nocturnal. It's almost as though we are looking at a piece of night music and it's a painting to be approached from the side, perhaps, rather than head on. It's also a picture full of, of humour, if the title itself weren't enough to give us a sense of that. The idea of lizards in mourning is, is in itself a, a wonderful, evocative phrase. But of course, iconographically, the serpent is a very potent motif. It takes us back to the Garden of Eden and the very beginning of mankind on Earth. And this was certainly something that was not lost on Miro, for whom the careful building up, in much the same way as a poet would build a stanza of poetry, was always paramount. Very few works of the late 1940s of this scale and complexity are still available for collectors to acquire, which is why we're particularly delighted to be offering this example in our May evening sale.